one. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Woman's Cave. And I can't believe I did it correctly today. Because you know me, I'm always about, oh my goodness, the recording the, the recording has started is so amazing. I don't have to be wrong anymore, but whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, we, <laughs> I'm Wilnona and I'm missing Jade again, go figure. Yeah, it feels weird to be just one person here. But, uh, so I'm not gonna do any more banter. I'm just gonna be like, we wrote books. And when I say we, I mean the end I thought ladies. So um, we have, and I thought divorce was bad with other life lessons. And I thought being grown up was easy. If only I were me and memoir in verse, the widow's death and widow's web series and foreign coffee. All of those are audio books. You can catch the rest of our 11 books that you gotta read, you know, flip the pages, not hear them read to you on www.andithoughtladies.com. And since Jade is in here, I got to, I get to do the salesman pitch dot com but you're not here to hear about me you're here to hear about our wonderful guest wonderful guest would you like to introduce yourself hi my name is kathleen fair and let's see i tortured children for much of my life, adult life i was a teacher who tried to teach them history um and in retirement i've become a writer and a quilter and um don't drink coffee but give me my tea Okay, I'm seriously loving the fact that it's give me my tea because uh, I'm a tea drinker, but not by choice, by allergies. <laughs> I'm allergic to coffee. <laughs> I love that. What's your favorite tea in the morning? Um, I just do an English breakfast tea. Uh, late in the afternoon, I'll tend to do an Earl Grey. Uh, mm -hmm. In South Carolina, it tends to be uh, unsweet iced tea as much as possible. Unsweetened iced tea? Oh, I feel like that's not right. I know. It's the like, proper cell. It's got to be sweet. Time, when I was a child, she kept, she was a tea drinker and, and um, she kept putting lemon in and then she would put sugar in and more lemon and more sugar. And finally, at one point, I, I was in a situation where I was supposed to drink some tea and they, I just said, I'm just going to drink it. And it was absolutely plain. And I went, oh, I like this. So um, yeah, just give me my tea. Um, that sounds great. I love it. I love it. So can you tell us a bit about what you do in South Carolina for writers? Um, I'm a member of the South Carolina Writers Association. And um, because I tend to be organized, so so um, the the South Carolina, the, the local chapter um, had me sort of organize things. And then the pandemic came and suddenly we were zooming and we talked ourselves into having a blog and and so I um, I try to write as much as I can, not as much as I would like to or could. Um, and I try to encourage other writers to share their words and our our purpose in our in our chapter is to help everyone be the best writer they can be. So we'll tell you what we like about your writing but we'll also tell you how it can be better. Maz, how has being part of a chapter helped you in your writing journey? Um, I would not, I am just about to publish my second book. It would never, first book would never have happened and this book would never have happened without the chapter, um, without their encouragement, without them saying, this is really good. Uh, you need to get this out here. Um, I think otherwise it would have been and, and holding you accountable, you know, you've got to, um, we want to see more, okay? If you, if you went a couple of weeks without submitting anything, they would say, what are you working on? What are you doing? And so suddenly, oh, I have to get this done. So, so would you suggest this to other people for their writing journey? I think people, if possible, should be part of some sort of writing group, whether it is just finding a group of like-minded people, many state associations, lots of libraries have writing groups, but, and to find a writing group that will be supportive, but truthful. Uh, and there's writing groups that will just say, oh, that's wonderful. And you're never gonna get better unless someone says, you know, and they said this to me, I am the queen of that. Um, I use that way too many times. And I, because my training is a, as a historian, I tend to write passive. And so, you know, they would sort of circle everything that was passive. Um, and I'm never gonna improve 
unless I know what I'm doing wrong. And um, a good writing group will help you find your strengths and identify your weaknesses. Exactly. I, I really appreciate that for a write from a writing group, knowing that. Oh, wait, I just said that. I feel like that. Yeah. yeah, I use a lot of that as well. But um, knowing that that you have your strengths and your weaknesses and have someone there to recognize them for you, because normally writing is a solitary practice, you know, so you need you need the help and you need to get out in the community. Well, and the other thing you need is you, you sometimes it's so clear in your own brain. You know what they're doing, your characters are doing, because if you're really writing, if you're writing fiction, the characters become real to you. They're real people who are living in your head and speaking through you. But sometimes you don't write what other people need to see in order to know what's happening. And um, so I, I remember one time saying to someone, a, per, a body doesn't move like that. Um, you know, somebody fell on the floor and did something and I'm going, and I kept, as I'm reading this, critiquing it, I'm going, no, 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 unless you're, unless you're a contortionist, your body can't do that. And so it helps you find those flaws that your reader is going to find. Exactly, exactly. So can you tell us a bit about the first book that you were published in? Um, what can we look forward to with the second? Okay, first book is called Princess to Priorus, and it is a, um, it's a historical fiction based on a woman. I, I tend to focus a lot on women's history. Um, and Adele was the daughter of a king, the mother of two kings, and the grandmother of a king. Um, and a fact of the royal, fan, uh, the royal involved in the, the French monarchy. Um, and yet she's not really known in history. I mean, I didn't know about her. I knew about her sons, but I didn't know about her. Um, she's also sister of kings. Um, so, um, but it's a story of her, her life. And I was fortunate to find some of letters um, that were written to her and by her. Um, her husband went off on a crusade and left her to rule. She was a real power broker in the 12th century. Um, you know, played each side off against each other and kept a lot of her um, her brothers and her father were English, and yet she was married into French nobility. And so, and they were always at war. The second one, very different, still historical fiction, early 20th century, and it's two women and one scoundrel. And it's called Hell Hath No Fury. Um, it's uh, very different and I really love it. Um, and I, right now I'm just waiting on the cover. I have someone, um, I've seen the sketch, I've seen the colors and I'm just waiting for the cover to come so we can get it published. Thank you so, so very, very much for coming today. Can you tell everyone where they can find your books to purchase and or to join the next? Uh, chapter meeting of the South Carolina Writers Association. Okay. Um, if you, the South Carolina Writers Association has a wonderful website and there are chapters all over the state. Um, mine happens to be in Surfside Beach, which, which is the Myrtle Beach area, but anywhere in the state. And of course, now we're Zooming, which means that anybody, you can be anywhere in the state. My books right now are pretty much on Amazon um, and uh, Princess to Priorus is there. And um, I hope within the next couple of weeks, Hell Hath No Fury will be there as well. Thank you so much, Kathleen. It has been an absolute pleasure to talk to you today. And I'm gonna go, mm -hmm. go ahead. And I'm gonna go ahead and wrap us up. My name is Winona, part of the End I Thought Ladies. You can find out everything that your ladies have been up to and a few things that you wish you didn't know about us. Uh, yeah, that's true, because I'm still cleaning up the website. It's not just something I'm saying, but I'm taking those down one by one. So you better hurry up and go, otherwise you'll miss it. Um, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> about hurry up and go but um, when you get there you can go down to the bottom of the page and you can see the three charities that we proudly support we thank you in advance for helping them out in these troubled times and we i want to remind you that wisdom is all around you if you're open to finding it and accepting it so peace and love you guys from wilmona and the missing jade